of beyond 50 below. Uh, let's go ahead and check the thermometer. Yeah, it looks like it's about 57 below. It's a great time to do some experiments. For folks at home in a little bit warmer climate, there you go. Well, for our first experiment tonight, we're going to see how long it takes for a nice fresh cup of coffee to freeze. So, got a freshly brewed pot of uh, good Alaskan roasted coffee. And top off my cup here. Mmm. Just what I like when it's about 57, 58 below is a good warm cup of coffee. So, let's go ahead and uh, see how long it takes to freeze this sucker solid. I'm going to set it down here. Nice place for it. Get out my handy dandy stopwatch. Alright, well, I just pulled my clothes out of the washing machine. I'm going to go ahead and hang them up out here to dry. Nice, clean, West Virginia Black Bear t-shirt. Mm. Put that right up here on the drying clothesline. Oh yeah. And uh, some khaki pants. Well, it looks like my coffee stopped steaming a little while ago. Let's take a look, see if it's frozen. Certainly looks frozen. Yeah, it's frozen. Coffee's. That took about hmm, about 37 and a half minutes or so. Thought it would be a little bit more frozen solid. It took a little bit longer than I thought. So. Let's see how my laundry turned out. Looks it's pretty cold. It's definitely frozen. That's it for another episode of Beyond 50 Below. Catch us next time. Arctic Interior.